All right, welcome back to Crafting During COVID-19. Welcome to my home. You are in your home, and that is the whole point of these, isn't it? Um, so we're getting creative uh, about getting creative. Um, we're trying to figure out supplies that are commonly at home that you can use to make some art. So what we're going to do is we're going to marbleize some paper in one of my favorite methods. I love doing this with kids. The kids absolutely have a ball. It looks fantastic. Now, uh, all you need is some shaving cream, and you don't even need that much, especially for one kid. This goes a really long way. Um, so don't worry. You can still shave during the outbreak. Some food coloring. Seriously, guys, I hope you have food coloring. Um, I'm going to be using this a lot. Um, and food coloring is great because it's so concentrated. A little goes a long way. Any old plastic card. This is a Kohl's gift card. Any, any old card. Your credit card. You might not want to give that to the kiddos. Maybe a gift card that you've got a dollar fifty left on, and yeah, it's still in your purse because you might use that dollar fifty. You just don't know. I know you. We're all that person. And paper. Now you can have. Um, regular white paper. I've cut this in half. Not all of us have that though. You know what? You know what we all have? We all have these. Yeah. Would you like a credit card? No. No, I don't want a credit card. I'm going to take your credit card offer and I'm going to craft with my children. That's what I'm going to do. All right. So here's how we do. I'm going to turn this video around so that you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so we have the table here. My daughter Zoe. Wave, Zoe. Wave in the camera. There she is. She wants to help out with this. Um, so, super easy, super fun. Um, take a little bit of shaving cream. Shaving cream, please. Like, really? That's about all you need. Okay. And then you're going to take your hands and you're going to smooth it out. Smooth it out, but you don't want to squish it, so you want to pet it very lightly. You want to help me out with that? Yeah. Smooth it out. And you can just scrape that on the side there, but again, you don't want to smush it. You want that fluffiness to stay. Alright. Yeah. Lovely thing, lovely thing about shaving cream is just sort of kind of like glue. It just kind of wipes off. Okay. It smells weird. It smells weird. It smells like it smells like morning is what it smells like to me. It okay. Like daddy? Yeah. It yeah. Smells like daddy when he does today. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, this is a fantastic lesson in color mixing. Okay. Now, here's the very disappointing thing about color mixing. When you mix all the colors together, you don't actually get rainbow, do you? I know. It's very sad. You actually get... Brown. Yeah. yeah. So, two primary colors at a time. So, should we do these two? I want, yeah, those two. Why? Why do we want to do those two? Because it makes purple and the red shows up as pink and the blue shows up as light blue and these are like my favorite colors. So, grown ups will then put Bop. like two, Bop. like two per color. One T. <laughs> okay, then, stop. I'm gonna show you. You're gonna get like a bamboo skewer or a fork, <laughs> more commonly like available. And you're going to swirl that around gently. That is fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's red, white, and blue. It is right now, isn't it? And you want to make that marbleized swirl. So this is also a great lesson in lines. Get a little swirl there, Zoe. I think the toothpaste is better. Yeah. Then take your paper, and you know what? You have a time to measure it. Let's see. So, like, I'm even going to make these quarter sheets because we don't have a lot going on there. We're going to turn these into great collages later. And I want you to be thinking, kiddos, um, all the kids out there. I want you to be thinking about what you could make this into what kind of collage all right then very gently 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 and you can kind of see i don't know if the camera is showing you this but you can kind of see the swirl soak through just a little bit gently. So, catching on the screen oh. then peel that off oh. you want to really 
yeah, see how it's covered there? And it's so awesome, right? And then, oh my gosh. put that to the side. This is where you take your card. Wait. And you just swipe it. Swipe it off. And you can just put that right back. <gasps> right? Pretty awesome. And you can pile that shaving cream back up. And turn it into a shaving cream blotter if you can. You can use this over and over again. When the color starts to really fade, I mean, you can... Squish it. Well, yeah, but you can also change the color. Squish it. Alright, so that's a fantastic marvelous paper. Alright, let's check out another one. Let's see how much uh, dye will go, okay? Let's go! May I? Yeah, gentle, not too much. You want to squish it into it, but you don't want to actually get all the way down to the table there. We have this on a piece of parchment paper because parchment paper is fantastic and it just makes the mess easier to clean up, but you can do it straight on your table too. Feel it up. Whoa, that looks even cooler. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it died on the paper. So you want to do this? Yeah. Okay. You gotta hold it down here. Hold it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Oh my gosh, even the extra looks amazing. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this, this craft is just as satisfying to me. Yeah, five out of five star review. <laughs> Would recommend. Okay, now, like I said, some of you guys don't have just plain white paper. So, you know, there is a tradition um, that comes from uh, Native American cultures of using paper that's been written on, and I'll have a whole lesson on that later. So get creative. Let's let's use this stuff, and we're gonna have sort of that um, multiple layered look. It's gonna be fantastic. All right. So I think I want this side to be my colored on side. Got it. Oh, you're gonna do it? Okay. Steal my thunder. That's fine. Like Daddy when he gets Great activity to be for you to do with your kids while you guys are at home spending all kinds of amazing quality time together. <laughs> We're so excited. All right. Whoa, this one's probably going to look even better than the last. We'll see. Yeah. Whoa. So here's that one versus this one. So you can see that the colors are still pretty good. Um, these lines are a little bit more defined, right? We can go back in there and we can... Go back. Now see, we're starting to get just kind of all Lush. purple. We're getting like all purple here, right? So what we're gonna do is this shaving cream is still good, but we wanna stay on that same purple palette, okay? So what do I mean by that, you think, Zoe? Put more red and blue. That's right. Can we put green in here? No. What would happen if we put green in here? It would just turn brown. Yeah. Because of the red. Very good. So should we go with blue or red? Red. Okay, more red. Yep. I think red is still one. So again, this Oops. is the grown-up job. Bloop. Bloop. Stick. You gotta bonus one there. Peel that up. Okay, so see like right there? That's what you want to try to avoid. Yeah. Get it back up. Nope, nothing happened. 
and that's why you want to peel it up slowly to make sure that you've got it all covered and if you don't you just push it back down all right that looks pretty good well, it's a bit time for the big reveal you gotta hold it down All right, we're gonna have fun making this. Um, you guys have fun making yours, and I'm gonna show you some of the great activities that we can do um, with this. We're gonna have some really great high-end lessons. All right, these are the papers that we made. We had a lot of fun doing it. I hope you guys have a lot of fun making them too. I'm gonna show you some collage projects later on that you can use these papers with. Hey, if you are enjoying my videos and you are um, making arts and crafts at home, using them with your kids, I would really appreciate it if you like and comment below and share out my uh, YouTube channel uh, to all of your friends on social media. That would be fantastic. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Stay strong out there, everybody. We're going to get through this together.